an approach that has been extremely good for the venture capital companies where we've gone in, purchased businesses, and had to build them up. We've had to um, promote people, we've had to take in new job entrants and train them real fast because our intent was to flip the business and sell it. It had to be successful real fast. Hello, I'm Les Cowie and I like to entertain, motivate and stimulate your people to solve problems in two specific areas. The one is in bridging the onboarding gap. That gap between the sign-on process and getting the job entrant productive. Forbes magazine says it costs us here in the USA $31 billion a year. Secondly, I like to help CEOs and executive teams who are struggling with business conditions or who wish to avoid situations where they may have to face tough business conditions. We were kind of, you know, uh, with fate and the good Lord and some help, we kind of stumbled into discovering because we were involved in so many different companies that every job can be examined from seven different x-ray points of view. And if you take each of those x-ray points of view, if you equip them with the things to do and the questions to ask, they can very quickly integrate uh, into the job. Then, unfortunately, but it happens, every job has faults. And these faults may happen at random, but what is interesting is that some faults happen more frequently than others. And if you can get on top of those, this will help you master your job quickly. Now, since you learn how to do the job correctly, and you learn how to recognize when the job is running correctly, and since faults happen, it makes sense that if you patrol the area of your job, whether that's a geographic space or whether it's a computer monitor and screen with information on it, by performing a patrol pattern and inspection sequence, you can anticipate and recognize when a symptom happens that warns you of a serious fault developing, and you can resolve it and fix it quickly. In the case of dealing with management and executive groups, we like to introduce them to creative sessions using the profit pillar that applies to every organization, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's service, whether it's commercial, non-profit, or even government. And the profit pillar allows executives in creative team meetings to drill down deep into the organizations and discover places to trim the fat before you have to reduce staff and maybe even take the heart out of your business. You have to, first of all, change the ending and then get this movie to the Sundance Film Festival. But you've got to get it from 16mm on to 35mm. Suddenly, after Robin had put up the first 35,000 to shoot this movie, he had to find another 120,000. He asked me to introduce him to all my business friends in Atlanta, Georgia. And I said, hey, Robin, I'm not going to do that. You know who they are. You, you have the guts. Get out there. Go talk to them. The very first one he went to was Brent Mailbox Man. <laughs> and that man put up the first $25,000 and provided Robin with the credibility to go and raise the rest of the money. He got it to the Sundance Film Festival, and that movie at age 24 was the Blair Witch Project.
Give me the opportunity to speak to your people, to get them excited, to get them moving, to get them creative, to unleash innovation. And I guarantee you will get results.